Well, this is um, 36 children's songs and nursery rhymes for a company called Animate. Um, and it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be uh, iTunes download and an app, apparently. You know, the kind of thing where you buy, you, you get a free app and then you can buy in-store purchases of more, uh, more graphics, more tunes, that kind of thing. Um, and it's got three character voices, two, two uh, blokes and a lady. Um, they're all, they've been all over TV and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, CBBS and 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 uh, in fact the the the, the, uh, the there's a guy called Simon and he's actually doing uh, bid up TV at the moment. <laughs> now, tomorrow you can catch him on bid up TV, which he was saying it was extremely fun. Um, yeah, so um, it's been nice to collect all these voices together, um, and and the animations are rather they're rather fun actually. So. Uh, it's just, it's just trying to do anything 36 times is, is quite a lot of work. <laughs> so I thought I'd try and um, uh, make things a bit easier. I've got, I'm, I'm going back to do final mixes now, so I need to, I need to spend time just checking that all of the sounds that I've got actually sound real enough and also record any um, live parts. Anything live that I can do, I'll be recording as well to give it more life. Um, but the first pass is, is trying to get this violin to work and make it sound like a folksy violin. So somewhere there must be some key switchy thing uh, where I can switch between legato and sustain. So there must be a thing somewhere. I'll have to look in the manual, I guess. Well, at the moment, I'm just trying to see what um, expressions I can get out of this violin uh, that I've just loaded. So something that will work particularly well with Old MacDonald had a farm. <laughs> and they're trying to make it sound a little more folky than it is at the moment. So it's a mixture of this legato patch, which is rather nice. Which is lovely. I think you've got the sustain pedal down. That's good. Never played a more expressive um, violin with so much movement. I think I need to play this again, actually, as a tune. If I can actually do that, and then I can uh, play it live by recording it, perhaps. Let's try that. Go that to there. Let it be actually on there. Yeah, let's do that. Um, it's so dumb. Okay, like this. Here apart, there apart, everywhere apart. Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Woo! Woo! Awful, but there we are. I'm trying to work out if I can uh, edit the uh, material I've got already to make it sound good rather than playing any new stuff in. So by doing that, I'm trying to do this little slidey, folky portamento now. Let's see if that works. Maybe that needs to be there. work. Trouble is when you do that slide it's quite quiet and I want it to be really loud so I might just leave that as loud. Or maybe like this one. Even quieter than that. Yeah, if I make that longer. And then make this first slot staccato. See, put a little key switch in there. It's 
So now it goes staccato. Mm. Let's see how that fits in with everything else, if at all. Now the next one is double stops, so I can then change that to to what's called sustain for the key switch. So let's do that. Key switches. And back to legato. Seem to work just about. Old MacDonald with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Ah, more of uh, these double stops. Some cows, e i e i o, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. The bar bar here and a bulls, e i e i o, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a. No, I'll get rid of that. I think. Moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. A bar bar here and a bar bar there. Here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar bar. Oh, McDonald had a bit more staccato. And then. That didn't work so well. Let's see how that works with everything. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, so on my laptop here, I've got um, a remote synthesizer here that is being accessed by the main computer via Cat5 cable, which means that uh, I can run it on here using the processing power of the laptop, and then it spits the audio out of there into the main computer and it comes up on a channel here. So um, this is just like distributed processing, which is really, really useful. Um, and it's quite useful because this particular instrument uses about two gig of RAM on its own. Uh, so it's quite nice that I've just got this machine plugging away in the background.